everybody. So doing some hood adjustment here. So as you know, or you may not know, um, the front clip of this car is a replacement. This is not the original hood. There's not a lot left that's original to the front of this car. Um, so I've been working real hard in trying to get the uh, hood to um, receive into the hood latch here. And I've, I've gotten this to line up pretty well. The, the difficulty that I'm having is getting the hood uh, pulled down uh, so there's a ni nice tight seal here to the edge, one. And secondly, when I do get it to seat, it doesn't want to pop when I release the uh, cable uh, pull uh, to the front of the car. So there's three areas that I've been adjusting. I'm getting real close, and I thought I'd share with you uh, some three, uh, three of the um, uh, key areas here that gets this thing just right. So first, I wanted to talk about the male, if you will, the pen adjust that's here that, that receives down into the uh, female latch right here. This is uh, real important to get this to seat uh, correctly pulled down tightly against those seals. So, so let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm up underneath here on the hood. So here is the pen, the mail, if you will, and there is a slotted point right here where you can tighten and loosen this, shorten it or elongate it. So the more you tighten this up into here, the shorter this is, the more that this will pull the hood down tightly um, uh, onto the uh, uh, seals. Uh, the more it's going to seat tighter, I guess, if you will, uh, to, to the body of the car. So I've shortened this quite a bit. Uh, before I started to film this, um, I'm really happy with how far it pulls down. Uh, so I don't think that I need to adjust this in or out, uh, uh, meaning shortening it or elongating it. I think I'm good there and it does uh, hit correctly into the receiver. So I don't think that's my problem, but this is a good point to let you know what this does. It really adjusts how tightly this hood will rest up against uh, against the body. All right, so the receiver. <clears throat> so this is probably the most critical part. Um, the the male part, the, the pin that comes in there, that has to be exactly straight. I mean, it can, it will still receive in there, but if it's not perfectly straight, if it's angled a little bit, it's going to catch here on the edge. So it's it's a little bit difficult, but you'll have to to, to close the, the hood and then just kind of see the angle that's coming in there. So before I filmed this, I noticed that this was too high and I've already adjusted this down, gosh, probably as far as it will go. And as I could look here from the side, the best that I could, the angle looked pretty straight to me. So I'm thinking at this point, um, my, you know, pin compression, you know, the, the, the level in which it will close, the angle that's coming down. When I close this, I should be spot on. So let's give this a uh, let's give this a take. Hey, also a little tip. What I did was I took a um, 120 pound kite string. This is a very strong string. I tied it to the end of this, and this is just kind of an emergency. Oh no, something bad's happened because if this fails, slips, or what have you. You know, I don't know how you get this thing open. Uh, so I did hear a, a really good tip to just uh, set up some string just as an emergency until you get this, you know, hooked up correctly and you're confident that that works. So just a little string, tie it on there just to make sure you're, you're safe. Okay, so I adjusted this down. I think the pin's correct. So I'm going to head and lower this. And hopefully we can see on the video this pop a little bit. So if it pops... We're good. So, latch down on there, good. So, let's see if we get a little bit of pop here. I need pop! I need pop! Pop, pop, pop! Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's good. And then I'm open and that's it. So, I hope this video has helped. Um, you know, like anything else on these things. They're just temperamental, and you have to work with them. And if you get frustrated, you have to drink beer or coffee if you don't drink, and take your time. I hope this has helped. Good luck with your bug.